Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about another 35mm plastic film camera that I have, the Agvaphoto reusable film camera. So this camera was actually brought to my attention by one of my viewers in my past videos on plastic film cameras. And I went ahead and bought it, but I was pretty busy with other things, so I didn't get to try it until about two months later. But after I finally tried it, I must say I quite enjoyed using it and the photos that I got from it were actually quite nice. So if you want to learn how to use this camera or you just want to see some sample photos, then stick around and hopefully you'll get something off this video. So what is it? The Agva Photo Camera is another reusable plastic film camera, much like the Kodak M35 and double film show cameras. It's supposed to give you the experience of shooting with a disposable camera, so don't expect anything fancy from it. It's just a bit more sustainable because you can reload it with new film. However, the quality of the images will be about the same as with disposable cameras. So this is what its box looked like when I got it from the mail. Agfa used to be a prominent maker of films and cameras, but with dwindling sales due to the digital photography boom in the early 2000s, they've since pulled out of the film photo consumer market. Currently, the brand is being licensed to other companies by the Agfa Photo Holding GmbH in Germany. Which means that this camera is most likely produced by another company in China that just simply bought a license to use the Agfa Photo brand. That being said, I think it's still better than some of the other reusable cameras that I own. Out of the box, the camera comes with a black velvet pouch, which is a nice touch in my opinion. And of course, it comes with an instruction manual on how to use it. With Agvaphoto being European, it makes sense that the manual is written in major EU languages like French, Spanish, German, and English. Pretty cool. The camera has this shiny silver finishing which is nice, and it also comes with a leatherette which makes it feel a bit more premium. I got the red leatherette version, but there's a brown and black version as well. The back side is pretty much the same with the Kodak M35, M38, and double film show cameras. Specs-wise, the Agva Photo Camera has a 31mm plastic lens, a fixed aperture of f9, and a fixed shutter speed of 1 120th of a second, typical of other reusable plastic cameras. So here it is next to the Lomography Simple Use Film Camera, the Kodak M35 and M38, Double Film Show Camera, and the Ashika MF1. As you can see in here, the Agva Photo Camera most closely resembles a double film show camera. They pretty much have the same build quality, with the difference being that the show camera supposedly has a slightly narrower lens with a brighter aperture of f8. In my experience, this is pretty much negligible though, and you can get the same results with either cameras. This camera is also very comparable to the Kodak cameras as they have pretty much the same specs. The first time I used it, I loaded the camera with a roll of Lomography Color Negative 400 film. To load it with film, pull the film rewind crank out and open the back of the camera by pressing down on this lock. Next, put the film of your choice in the film chamber. 
I like to use film with 400 ISO and above just so I'm sure that it can be used in most lighting conditions. Press the film rewind crank down and twist it until it fully goes down. Next, notice the teeth on the lower part of the take-up spool. This is where you will hook the film leader using the sprocket holes. I like to hook the film through its first and second sprocket holes like so. Then, I put a bit of tension by rotating the film advanced wheel a bit, and once that I feel that there's enough tension, I would close the film door before fully advancing the film. This way, I get about two more photos out of the roll. So 24 becomes 26 exposures, and 36 becomes 38 exposures. Saves you a bit of money. To take a photo, rotate the film advanced wheel until it stops and cocks the shutter. You can then aim the camera and press the shutter button to take a photo. Remember to do this every time you want to take a photo. To use the flash, you need to put one AAA battery in the battery compartment located at the bottom of the camera. Next, toggle the flash button to on and wait for the red light above the camera to glow. Once it fully glows, the flash will fire on your next shot. If you don't want to use the flash, you can keep the flash toggle on off. Once you're finished with a roll of film, you can unload the camera by first pressing on the film rewind button at the bottom of the camera. Then, pull the lever of the film rewind crank and rotate it towards the direction drawn over it or clockwise until you don't feel any more tension from the film. You can then open the film door and take the film out for processing. Here are some sample photos that I took using this camera. I took these photos at the same time while I was out on a photo walk using my medium format Yashica Mat 124 camera, which I already uploaded a video about, so please check it out if you're interested. I was very captivated by the light that filters through the trees, casting these textured shadows upon these old houses. The Japanese actually have a term for this, komorebi, which I love. As you can see from these photos, the image quality that you get from the Agfa Photo Camera and the Lomo 400 film is pretty good. Of course, they're not the sharpest photos, but they're sharp enough. Besides, this really gives you the trendy analog look. No digital filters required. So far, I would say that this camera gives me the same results as the Double Film Show camera and the Kodak M35 or M30 cameras. I would say it's even better than the Shika MF1.
Like all other plastic cameras, however, the lens flares you get from this camera is terrible, so try to shoot with a light source not directly towards the camera. Unless you're into that aesthetic, I suppose. So yeah, um, overall I think this camera is on par with the Kodak M35 and M38, or the double film show cameras, with some added points for its nice leatherette and design that makes it look like a classic film camera. I think it's also pretty well built. But again, these cameras are supposed to mimic the experience of shooting with disposable plastic cameras, so just don't expect the photos to look like they were taken with high quality lenses. So maybe you're wondering what's the point of shooting with them at all? Well, I think sometimes it's quite nice to just let go and take the photos without worrying about the technicalities and the quality of your equipment. And that's it! Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers! In this video, I would like to talk about another 35mm plastic film camera that I have, the Agfa Photo Reusable Film Camera. <laughs>